Hi, many people had texted me regarding hands-on experience. So, I thought to make a video on it. I will keep it simple. At first, I will give brief overview of what is hands-on, pattern of the hands-on, syllabus of the hands-on and how to prepare for it and what is the difficulty level. And mostly, I will focus on mean stream because my stream is mean. Okay, let's start. What is hands-on? This is the last phase in your stream training journey. After you complete your MCQ exams, this exam will be held. To attempt this, there is no criteria. I mean, even if you don't pass the MCQs, you will be asked to write this exam. Only some stream exams have hands-on, others might have ASA. This is entire different thing. Some streams will have hands-on plus Viva. For mean stream, first hands-on will happen and the same day Viva will happen. At least for me, that's how it happened. Make sure of the pattern before you start preparing. Pattern of the hands-on and what's the syllabus? This is the first thing you need to know. You will receive a mail regarding your hands-on exam. You need to ask your main trainer about the pattern because he and other trainers might conduct this hands-on and viva. So ask him. Trainers are very friendly. Even if they are rude, at the end they want us to be pass. Ask them nicely. Sometimes they may even say how the questions are exactly can be asked. Even if they don't know exact questions, they may give the idea for what to prepare. I will say the pattern what I know. Generally, they will give you a problem statement. For mainstream, this is the exact question they asked. There is a library database where you can store books with name and description. Create an API to show all the books and also create an API to add new books into the library database. Use Angular for UI to display the data in tabular format. And to add a new book into the database, create a form with button. This is the question it was asked. I will say how to solve it. If you are not from the mainstream, please forward the video to the next section. So basically, they asked to create frontend and backend APIs and database also. First, you need to set up the database in MongoDB with backend. Later, connect the database to backend by writing the queries. Once this is done, you need to create frontend UI with form. One button to get all the list of the books and one is to submit the data to the database. For each button, we need to trigger an API call. For adding new books in the DB, we use POST API and for getting all the books, we use GET API. This is very simple. Mostly they will ask these kind of questions. Even if they change, they may just ask two of the APIs from this list and add some frontend to this backend and to display it. That's it. Now let's see how to prepare for it. Basically, hands-on means they want to test you on overall subject of what you learn because after this you will be put into project. So it will be essential. I made a video on how to prepare for stream training. If you followed that then hands-on will be easy and there is no extra preparation is required. But if somehow you messed up stream training without listening to trainer or didn't learn anything then your hands-on will be in trouble. For that situation I will give one solution. It worked for lot of people but be very careful while doing this. If you don't have any idea regarding the question what you need to do just do something you know. I mean if you don't know how to create an API then at least write something to connect to the database and just something related to it and try to use the variables or the methods they mention in the question. Just do something related to it. If you do this you will pass for sure. I will give guarantee. I am repeating again. If you don't understand question do something related to that question and don't do irrelevant. I mean don't submit some random codes because you will fail. Write something similar to your problem according to your question. I am saying again write some similar relevant code only. If you do this you will pass. In my batch many people have done this. They didn't know how to create exit API in Node.js but they wrote code in Node.js similar to it. They cleared the exam with 65% even the code is not running. Please only do this if you don't have any knowledge. But if you learn during stream training then you are good to go. There is no need to worry much. 
just revise whatever you learned and implement it while practicing that's it i never seen anyone to fail in hands on so yeah don't mess it up if you don't know anything just write something related to it but never submit irrelevant or blank codes now about difficulty level actually this varies person to person if you followed whole training then it will be easy for you see i score 95% in hands on i can say it's easy but strictly speaking passing hands on is easy if you use your brain take pen and paper right now note the points whatever i said in the last few minutes rewatch the video and do it sometimes all you need is strategy and planning not knowledge and for hands on that's what we need so do it right now note it down it feels like you know but you will forget once this is done the same day you will get a call for viva it's very easy the viva instructor have same set of questions for everyone just note down the questions from the first guy and prepare the same answers for it this is very easy just don't worry at all this is it for today i made video at last moment because few people texted that hands on is in 2 weeks so i quickly made it if you want to help me in some way please like the video